Yeah. Today we're going to be making a very basic biryani chicken for six people. So what we need is rice, coconut milk, ghee, rose water, yogurt, two kilos of chicken, garlic, ginger, onions, green chili, cashew nuts, bay leaves, coriander, mint, some tomatoes, a lemon, dry chili, and for the, to flavor the rice, we've got some cinnamon, aniseed, cloves, and cardamom. And finally, for the, to grind, to make the masala, we've got fennel seeds, the nutmeg flour, cumin seeds, cardamom, cinnamon sticks, aniseed, cloves, and black pepper, and some salt to flavor. Now we're going to fry the onions until they're crispy and brown on a medium heat. We're going to use vegetable oil. When the oil is hot, we'll add the onions. Now, whilst that, the onions are frying, we're going to make the biryani masala. So I'm just going to add all the ingredients and dry fry them into the oven, or onto the cooker, on a low, medium heat. Once the masala begins, turns a, a little bit brown, we're going to add the dry chili. We're going to carry on dry frying it. And we can smell the lovely aromas that are coming out now. So now we're going to be making, so for the ingredients for the biryani masala, we have two teaspoons of black peppercorns, two teaspoons of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds. We have a one about one centimeter of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cloves. Three ani star anise, and about one or three or four nutmeg flowers as well. Biryani masala is finished uh, dry frying. It's got a nice aroma. I can smell that, it's looking golden and brown. So we're going to transfer it now to the grinder. So we're going to dry fry it off here. Turn it off. <laughs> the onions are finished frying now, and now we're going to transfer them into a pan to drain off the excess. We're putting those aside for later. Now we're going to prepare the rice. Putting the pan on, we're going to add six glasses of water for four cups of rice. So six cups of water for four cups of rice. I'm going to wait until it boils and then I'm going to add some spices. Once the water starts to boil, we're going to add about five or six cardamom pods, about 15 cloves, one star anise, and a small piece of cinnamon. And then we'll put in three bay leaves. Along with that, we'll put in one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of ghee. Once the water starts to boil, we're going to add five cardamom pods, about 15 uh, cloves, one star anise, and a small piece of cinnamon. We'll also add three bay leaves, and added to that, we've added one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of ghee. Once we've added all the spices and the ghee and the salt, we're gonna add 
four cups of rice. Four, four cups of rice. Now we've added everything together, I'm going to put it to one side and we're going to, it's going to carry on cooking and I'm going to start preparing the chicken. Once the rice is carry on cooking, we're going to prepare now the chicken. So to start off with, we need two tablespoons of ghee. It's about 20 of them to the ghee. Once the cashew nuts are a little bit brown, we're going to take them out. Next, we're going to add the onions. There's about three and a half onions here. Add that to the ghee. Five chilies, five green chilies. Two bulbs of garlic chopped up. One small piece of ginger. We also need to add about a teaspoon of salt. And a small teaspoon of wonderful aroma coming off this pan now and the onions are softening nicely. There's a great colour as well and I think we're almost ready to add the chicken. I'm going to start adding the chicken. So now we're going to fry the chicken until it's sealed so that the chicken turns white. So it's turning into a white colour. Just make sure it's all cooked on the outside. So the rice is almost ready now. I'm going to put it to one side now. I'm going to carry on cooking the chicken until it's uh, white on the outside. And then I'm going to add the masala. Mmm, fantastic smell. Chicken is browning nicely. There's still a few parts which are a bit pink, but let's just look to brown those off. And then we'll be adding the ground masala. The masala is smelling wonderful actually. Mm, lovely flavors there. Once the chicken is nicely white all over, we're going to add three tea ta tablespoons of the masala. going to stir that in and give it another few minutes. So I'd say about two or three minutes to allow that flavour to absorb into the chicken. The tomatoes are softened now, so I'm going to add the yoghurt. So five tablespoons of yoghurt. I'm going to give that a bit of a stir as well. I'm going to add some coriander leaves now and I'm also going to add some chopped mint as well for the flavour. I'm going to mix that all in. That smells wonderful now and the colour looks... So I'm going to add a small spoonful of the fried onions that we prepared earlier. And we're going to squeeze some lemon as well into the mix. I'm just going to stir that in. That lemon is certainly bringing out the smell in the chicken, the flavour. The beautiful colour in there. Now we're going to take out the chicken pieces as there's a little bit too much sauce in there. So we're just going to transfer it into another pan 
just taking them out one by one. It's a little bit too much sauce there, so we're just going to remove that. One piece by time. Mm, smelling wonderful, actually. Lovely. Chicken's really cooked well, really absorbed some of the flavors of the masala. So what we're going to do now is add the coconut milk to thicken the sauce. Just pouring a tin full of coconut milk in and allow that to thicken. Just turning the heat up a little bit. And then I'm going to have a little taste to make sure we're okay in terms of the flavors. Salt is good, flavors are good as well. It's got a lovely aroma. Yes, it's got a lovely slight flavor of coconut and a bit Very of nice. sourness from the lemon. And the mint and coriander flavors are really coming through now. Wonderful smell and lovely taste as well. So we're just I'm gonna stir it now. That's wonderful. The sauce is really thickening up now, looking lovely and creamy. I think the salt is just right. I'm gonna put the lid on now. Now we are going to do the dum. We're going to add a teaspoon of the, uh, of the ghee to the bottom, and then I'm going to add a layer of chicken. All around. Okay, next I'm going to add a layer of rice. Mmm, smelling very good. To make that nice and smooth and then we're going to lay add some mint uh, some coriander just a sprinkling on each layer and then a little bit of the fried onions sprinkle a teaspoon of rose water and then we're going to carry on like that with our layers and add a bit of the biryani masala just sprinkle that on it's lovely still got a wonderful flavor and now I'm going to add the next layer again a bit of ghee and then a layer of the chicken. Looking wonderful so far. Some great fray flavors coming off there. Bit of rose water. A 
few more cashew nuts, a few onions, and we're almost ready for the final layer. Just a little bit of the biryani masala. Let's put a final teaspoon of rose water and a little and bit of ghee. ghee. And the final bit of ghee, just there. Next we're going to airtight close the dung with some foil. Put the foil on top, really neat. We're going to put it on the cooker for 10 to 15 minutes now. Wow, it's now finished and it looks wonderful look at that mmm the smell is fantastic and I'm going to start serving people mmm delicious that looks wonderful mmm lovely flavors smell Another fantastic recipe for Royce's Kitchen. <laughs> uh, where is it? www.roycekitchen.co.uk No website, mate. It's only YouTube. Chicken biryani, homemade. Royce Kitchen chicken biryani. Royce Kitchen. It's YouTube. Royce Kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to end the video and begin it. I'm going to end the video. Okay, bye bye.